G'day mate, welcome to Industries of Titan with me, Jedi. This is going to be a sort of a quick video, well at least a semi-quick video. I'm just explaining how the early game works, so how to set yourself up to have a good supply of credits, resources, uh, citizens and employees. As you can see, this is my end of the game base, um, at which point I've expanded all the way out to well past the edge of the map down here. Um, but yeah, I want to put together like a quick tutorial video, so bear with me, stick with me. Um, we're going to go through a bunch of jump cuts, but I, I, I really did my best in, in about 20 minutes to try and get you through really the guts of the game. At the same time, um, we're also going to deal with trash, as you can see, uh, for a base of 100 plus employees and everything else. Um, that's my pollution. Um, yeah, I, I really don't have any issues with pollution. So, with that said, um, let's jump into the gut, uh, let's jump into the early game and start a fresh map. So, we're on a new colony. This is the perfect start that you want. Um, you want the most amount of ruins you can possibly see. Uh, the, the more ruins, definitely the better. The other thing you want to do is go in your employees. You want to make sure survey ruins is definitely at the bottom. Because we're going to be abusing that well and truly. Um, so we're going to go into our territory view and we're going to use our hotkeys, so V to sur uh, survey, and we're going to go through and survey everything. Um, unfortunately, I've got three blank blocks to start with, which is going to hold us back a little bit. And I've also got a lot of mineral patches, which are absolutely useless. We're not going to use them at all for resources. Well, we'll use them if we get desperate, but they are really a if you get desperate scenario. Uh, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. All of those. Uh, so, anything that's around us, we're just going to salvage it. Um, not even going to look. We don't want the rare artifacts. They're absolutely useless still. We just want to salvage for resources. That's our number one priority currently. Now, because our, we haven't claimed any extra areas, this is all we've got to work with. We want to jump in here, and we also want to get our early construction up and running. Uh, we want a fuel fabricator, and we want to wrap it around our very first storage box. Also, our very first storage box, we want to filter it, and we just want to store minerals. We don't need isotopes at this stage. So we want an energy generator there. We're going to want a... Uh, relay and I want to mark energy generator energy generator energy generator I want a couple of them so then I want a relay in on yes and then I want industry our uh, industrial outlet over here um, and I will we'll sort of explain why as, as we work our way through but it's given me maximum room to put as many energy generators down as I possibly can um, because that's going to be important this is going to be our main powerhouse for quite some time we have two fuel so I want another generator here so we're using two fuel making six power total that's all we got to work with early game uh, next I want to look at what we've surveyed I missed one uh, and look for one that's high in minerals so that's 11 uh, that's 12 that's 30 for 20. Uh, that's 10, uh, claim for 10 and gives us 32 minerals. That's a beauty. We'll grab that one. Uh, 10 for 30. And uh, they're still surveying. Uh, okay, so we're going to want production. I want a. Oh, I want two things. I'm going to want an energy pylon. Uh, which is going to require some isotopes. Now, remember we turned off storage of isotopes. So I need to put in a storage container here. And I need to put isotopes in that one. Okay, this one, filter. I just want isotopes. This will give me 10 isotopes total. That's all I've got to work with. Everything else um, will basically sit on the ground until we can get to it. Uh... At the same time, if I have points that I can claim things, I'm going to. The pylon is going to be one of the buildings I need. And I also need to look at my territory. I want to make sure that wherever I put my uh, smokestack is as far away from where I want to build my people as possible. So this looks like a good spot. Um, it's well and truly away, uh, which means I want to put power here. 
and it means I want to put my first factory, which I can't afford now, uh, here and here. I want to put two factories and I want to merge the two together very, very quickly. Now, now we've got our factory starting to be built. As soon as our pylon's finished, I actually want to upgrade it to the next level. And then I want to salvage one of these two uh, for another pylon to then put my smokestack all the way out here. So this one has an artifact in it. I'm going to take one artifact for 10. So I should be able to get another factory right beside that factory. We might end up going military before we go smokestack. We'll see. Um, the biggest problem is all the waste that's on the ground, we're not actually picking up. It's staying exactly where it is. So let's jump back in here for a second. Uh, let's do a little bit of expansion. So we want one of those and one of those with... I need a f another fuel fabricator. So we can see by the pattern we're using that I need to put a relay here to put another energy generator here. Actually, we might just get some of these done. So I want a fuel fabricator down here. That gives me three tiles right here. Those three tiles are all going to be storage containers. Once you get them built, you need to make sure that you filter them to just minerals. You do not want to be storing waste in here if at all possible. Okay, so zoom back out. We've got our factories. We're going to connect them together. Uh, at the same time, we've got our next plot. We don't have a warning about an incoming attack yet, so we're just going to leave it. Uh, we still need a second artifact to uh, unlock um, this one. Uh, okay, where do I want to go next? Uh, that has a good amount of materials. Uh, that has a lot of waste, but it does have two artifacts. That's one of the things we needed. But that has 72 minerals. That's another one I, I'm desperately going to want. Uh, there's not much point unlocking the council hall until you have people and you have money coming in. Okay, we're going to enter our factory. It's only a level one at this stage. That's fine. We're going to click upgrade button on it in a minute. We want habitation pods. This one is going to be all about new people. So we want two habitation pod. No, I want to cancel that one. I want energy relay in here. I want an industrial outlet. So it hooks into the other one. Then another habitation pod, another pod, and another pod. Uh, as you can see, we're broke already, but that's given us room for eight sets of colonists to come in. They're pretty pointless until we get monetization stations up and running for them. Um, so that's going to be the next thing we want to get done. In the meantime, spaceport. Uh, no, we're still waiting on that one to be picked up. We are running our little workers as hard as possible. On top of that, we also want to click that button because it doesn't affect us currently. If it goes down because there's no people in there, it's not doing anything. So we've got our factory up upgrading, but we still haven't extracted this ruin. So I need to move that job up higher because uh, I need that done now. I need to unlock the spaceport because we're pretty much ready to start using it. We want to unlock that uh, and then we're going to start calling in people. But they're useless unless they have monetization stations. So this is going to be the next thing I want. For every one habitation pod, I want two monetization stations. So... Cancel. Can we squeeze them in like this? No, I didn't think so. Uh, but we can go... One, two, three. And then... Put a relay in here. Yes, it blocks their path. They don't care. Uh, monetization station. One there. Uh, need to leave a gap to get power through. Uh, another relay in here. Monetization station. Okay. Uh, eight for 12. Perfect. So that's two, four, six... I need another two, which means more resources. Are there still resources on the map? Yes, there's 36 there. This was one I was eyeing off with 72. All right, as you can see, I've started to get an income. As we finish off more of these buildings, we should get even more income. 
Now, the idea of this is this is all going to be habitation pods and monetization stations. This is going to be your main powerhouse of income. You're going to try and get as much money out of these guys as possible. Because, uh, you know, they need those high revenue, uh, high click-through rate ads. That's definitely going to be very, very important. They're also going to start creating trash. We have no storage for trash currently. We are going to start filling this room with trash receptacles. And I'm just going to use storage containers. Um, there's no real advantage to using a waste receptacle. You can use some of them. Um, you know, it's cash three too. They cost the same, but you can only store waste in them. A storage container, you can store whatever you want. Uh, so we want a monetization. We wanted two, four, six. I want two more, please. Uh, do you get power? No. So I need another relay in here. I'm sure I did this before where I fit in an extra fuel generator. Uh, it doesn't matter. This should be enough to get us over the line. If I put that one in there and that one in there, that should be more than enough. I can fit one more fuel generator in there. Oh, this one. If this storage container is not here, I can put another power generator in here, another fuel generator over here, and we can just get three more power. It gives us a little bit of extra fuel as well, which we could use on fuel storage if we really wanted to. Okay, we're now rolling the money. We want to unlock this guy. We also want to uh, unlock a fuel turbine and an energy plant. Yeah, confirm, confirm confirm so I also need to start burning off trash that's the other thing I have to do uh, do we have yes we do have eight so we're gonna upgrade our headquarters and I need to make sure I have at least 500 credits in case we need to rush military uh, so we want to go into here again because we're now rolling in resources we want to go to our second floor we want to have some conversion capsules because this is going to be all about getting our workforce, our employees as high as possible. So I want to put those down. I want to put down a relay with an industrial outlet with another relay offset over here. Uh, conversion capsule there, there, there. Uh, so that'll give us another six. Uh, conversion capsule. Seven. Eight. Nine. I can't afford the ninth one. No. Because I need another relay. Do I? That one. I need a relay there. All right, back out to map view. More resources. At the same time, we want to start looking for artifacts. So that has, because uh, we're going to need like eight artifacts in a hurry. Uh, that one's fairly low. We're going to get artifacts from that. That's really bad. We're going to grab artifact there. That's really low. We're going to get an artifact there. Uh, that's 50-50. That's uh, high in waste. We'll get an artifact there. Uh, I'll grab an artifact there. Uh, we've got out to there. So at the same time, let's get our smokestack done. How many credits do I have? Yes, plenty. That's another artifact. That's a lot of artifacts. Uh, actually, you're now upgraded. So I want to turn on this view and we want to look at surveying anything new. We didn't get that much new, but we got some. Uh, I'll have that one. I 
I'll have that one. All the way down to five. Okay, so we can go back into here. Uh, floor number two. Is everybody done? Uh, okay, so we've hit our power limit. That's fine. We're just going to click this button over and over and over. Yep, just keep clicking it. As long as you're extracting stuff, we're going to keep clicking this button and get as many employees as possible. Uh, in fact, we're going to have to upgrade that. And three. And we'll start worrying about the waste in the next episode. Or, or you know, in a second. Uh, no, that's going to be all that we're going to grab. Okay, so we want production, smokestack. As I said, we want that as far away as possible. Now, I've got 11 of 17 employees so far, which means I can bring in more if we could find more artifacts. So, we need to start mass grabbing artifacts. We've got the council up and running. Uh, we don't need to upgrade the storage because it's pretty pointless. We can give them a couple of dollars. Uh, actually, we should probably get that, considering there's attacking coming. So let's get a defensive turret. All right. Okay, there's waste there. Yep, that's waste. We're going to put a person on this, and we're going to start cleaning up waste. All right, uh, start getting it shipped off. Oh, we're short on power. So that means we're going to come in here. We're going to go to our second floor. And we're actually going to turn off the outlet. Just outright. Power down the whole level. We don't need it powered currently. Uh, Alright. I want artifacts. One artifact. I need like three artifacts. Uh, five artifacts. Beautiful. We're going to extract that one. Because we can spend our artifacts. We can give them one artifact for 20 points. This one cost us 30 but we should be able to replace it very, very quickly. Uh, you're going to want an employee. Why are you saying no power? You've definitely got power. Uh, four of 18. Yeah, we should definitely have power. Enabled, disabled, enabled. There we go. Uh, so I have five artifacts. I can give them an artifact to get 20. And then all I need to do is I need to find something that's going to cost me less than... Well, that one cost me 10. I got another artifact. That cost me 10. I got another artifact. This lets you start rapidly expanding. Uh, we're going to throw down... Nope, we're not going to throw down. Uh, also means I can start going through and grabbing some of these ones that I'd ignored earlier. Same time, I can just send them credits because we have really very little use for credits uh, and I can buy influence with the credits. Just keep bribing and bribing the council over and over and over. Um, so that's my quick introduction so far. Uh, next thing you do is obviously get a fuel turbine and an energy plant. Um, I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend that you put them down in pairs so you can then join them together. Um, it actually makes sense in the long run. Um, and just make sure you heavily fortify whatever area you're in. Uh, at the same time, you can just keep claiming resources over and over and over, along with artifacts. Um, if, as soon as I get more power up and running, well, get through this attack that's four minutes out. Uh, if I put power there, fuel there, guns there, that works. Um, as you can see, I do have a mineral deposit over here, so this would be the way I'd be expanding towards. Um, putting down a command center over here, right? Um, so I could get to this as fast as possible. I'm, I'm loath to expand with an attack incoming. Uh... Come on. This is ridiculous. I have power. Oh, I don't, because the headquarters is down. 
Yeah, okay game, you win this time. You win this time. But we've made it through uh, round one of combat. So this one, I'm going to leave this video as I was trying to keep it as short as possible. Um, this is how I cover my credits, my resources, my uh, and, and well, trash. Trash is getting burnt off very, very effectively. If we look at the overlay, this won't ever get over here and be bad enough that we have to worry about it. Um, I ran, I don't know how many cycles, and this was in the... Go away. Uh, in the okay section forever. Um, by, by the time the pollution got to here every single time, it dispersed enough. It just didn't worry the colonists. Um, so yeah, that's like I said, that's where I'm going to leave it. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we do fuel turbine, two of, power two of. That will be the next steps. Uh, which should probably involve an upgrade of one of those. Yeah, it's as good a time as I need to pull everything offline. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much. And we might end up continuing this in a follow-up video. Uh, as always, thoughts, comments, suggestions, anything you'd like to tell me down in the comment section below. I, I'm, I'm loving Industries of Titan. Um, it's It doesn't have as much content as I thought it would. But it's a very, very good start. And considering how quickly they're patching things, there might be a whole new section of content added within a week or two at the rate they're going. Anyway, with that said, I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.